Okay guys, we got the cases bolted together. Now don't forget, on the stator side there's two bolts. On this side and the rest of the bolts go on the, the other side. I also... Here, let's move this. I also have all these put in. Have all this stuff here put in. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to drop the cylinders over the pistons. What I do, since I don't have a, a gasket for this, we're going to make our own gasket. And we're using Gasket Maker Ultra Black Permatex. I cleaned the, the, um, the top here stripped and uh, I cleaned it with acetone. So we're going to put a layer down on here and a layer on the cylinder head. Now for this process take your time I mean if you want to use a gasket you know, I always want to seal my gaskets in real good so then there's no oil leaks at all. Even if I would have a gasket on here, I would still use this as a sealer. You know, and what this does, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing with the cylinder head. Okay, I got a nice even coat on the top of that. Now we're going to do the bottom of the cylinder jugs. That way, in case if it's not evened out on there, this will compensate for it. And I'm using, these are plumber's paint brushes. I'm using plumber's brushes. Or not paint brushes, uh, they're plumber's brushes. By the way, I found another Honda Morphous, guys. Uh, it has 25,000 miles on it, and um, I think it's the, guy, the guy wants 1200 bucks for it or a thousand. But he wants a trade too, so apparently then he probably wants more money than a thousand bucks. He probably thinks he has like a rear find or something, you know. And it's it's here in it's actually closer to me than the other one was. So uh, I think the, I think it needs rotors. The rotors are shot. It probably needs brakes since it's an automatic. And um, the windshield's been repositioned. Probably needs a new windshield. And he says the fuel, the carburetor needs cleaned. So the fuel system needs cleaned. So it's probably been sitting for a long time. So I'm going to see what happens. Now, I put... These are clamps. I put... Uh, the, I think these go from one, one and a quarter inch... Two two and a quarter inch screw clamps or worm clamps or aircraft clamps are called. And what I did is I lowered them just a little bit on the piston so then so then the cylinders will go over this. I also put a zip tie on my time and chain and the chain adjuster. And in case of your time and chain falls inside the engine, you can still get it out. So don't let that scare you. Our rings are staggered. Uh, we put the piston 
the wrist pin, the retaining clips are in the pistons. The pistons have marks on them where the valves are. They have to be pointed to the front of the engine. And then there's actually an IN or IN on top of the pistons that goes in. Repair manual tells you that also. Okay, now make sure as you guys see, I ground so when I took this off before, I cracked the fins in four places. I actually ground them down. It actually looks pretty good like this. So this is the front. So let's see if we can put this guy on here. I also, also what you do too, is I lubed the insides of the piston sleeves. That'll help it slide real nice. And don't forget your dial pins. I got one there, and there's one on the top of the case. Or without those, these will move around. You also have dial pins. For there, there's dial pins on almost everything you put together on this. All right, we got our gaskets on. Looks pretty good. Let's give her a try. Slide her over. You know what? One thing I forgot to do, I have to lock the pistons in place or they'll get pushed down. For that, we're going to take a screwdriver and we're going to jam it in the gears there on that side. I've been asked by people to do a complete to do a complete engine assembly, so I'm going to try to do that. Okay, now I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do one piston at a time. Now you got tension on these clamps here. We're going to release these just a real little bit. You know, once you get these started, they'll slide right on. To get them started is the hard part. I'm going to tape my sockets to the extension. Because if it drops down inside there, guess what? I got to take the motor seat, the engine apart again. Okay, we got this one here started. Now, I just noticed my um, my clamp. 
clamp is over my rings. We got that one started too, guys. Remember, oil up the inside of your cylinders. It's, it makes it a lot easier. They slide right down. Believe it or not, this is the second hardest part. The hardest part is getting that sprocket on the timing chain on your camshaft. I'll do a video on that too. There's a trick to that. moving once you get the cylinders past the rings we'll take the band clamps off now once we get this on we're going to put your other timing chain guide on. This might look a little different to you because what I did is I cut the top of mine off a little bit. I wouldn't suggest you to do that, but I did it. So we'll put this on after we get this in. You could put this on before. You know, it's up to you guys. You know, it might be easier for you to get it on before you do this. Okay, that's past the rings. Now we're going to take off our bands. Remember, if you drop something, like if you drop this socket inside your engine, guess what? You gotta take the engine apart again. And I've done it. I've done that. There's that one. When I put the camshaft on, I'm going to actually close all the all the entrances with cotton balls so that nothing drops. Inside, because I actually dropped the bolt inside the engine and I had to take it apart again. That's free. Knock that one off. Clean my hands up. We should be able to guide this down by hand now.
where's my put a little bit of more gasket maker right here because I touched it line up your pins and that's it guys we're going to give this a couple taps for good luck we'll look her over if I can find my flashlight you know this is the biggest problem I have I could set something down and it disappears just like that I've actually, I, I have mice here, okay? My mice have actually took off with parts. Because I, I live kind of like out in the country, and my flashlight disappeared, guys. I don't know where it is. It vanished. Well, all right. Maybe the mice took off with my flashlight. These mice actually took off with my wife's wedding ring. We sat it down. And then about five years ago, I, you know, I, lift the, my, I lift the top of my stove up to clean underneath it because they, they go underneath there. You should have seen the stuff. And there was her wedding ring. So I guess maybe the shiny diamond attracted them. I have guys I gotta find my, my flashlight. I need it. Here it is. Alright. Let's put this in. And there there's a hole. There's a hole where that goes down into. Okay, I got this other time and chain got in. It might be a little tricky for you to get in, guys. What I did is I tilted the engine this way a little bit. Uh, now the next thing we're going to do is let's take off my screwdriver from those gears before I ruin those and uh, I'm gonna stop this one and we'll start another video because I want to torque this down we're not gonna put the cam in today but I have to um, I have a head gasket for this but we'll still seal this up the way I did down here with the gasket sealer and we'll bolt this down temporarily so then it'll smash the gasket in. All right, we're cleaning this with acetone. After you get uh, after you get your gasket scraped off, you know, these surfaces, what I do, is I use a Dremel tool if I could find that. That disappeared too. Here it is. I have this little disc here and I I mean I, I sand it down where it's it's in really good shape. Okay, I actually I did this before so that should be and once again on top of here too you have dowel pins. We'll put those in the cylinder head before we drop it down. Guys, I'm going to pause you because this is going to take a while. All right, we're almost done with this first one. And what I do is I just put the gasket maker in a cup like this. Because if you put too much on here, there's these little oil channels that it'll bleed off into and uh, it'll prevent oil from getting in certain parts of the engine or on your 
on your cylinder head up there. So, okay, now we're going to find a gasket to put on top of this. I have a bunch of these. These are no problem to come up with. So, this is an old one. As a matter of fact, I think this is from my first my first Honda Rebel, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll clean this off with some acetone. Acetone is the best thing to use. Okay, we're preparing this. I should have prepared this earlier. So I'll pause you guys. Guys, I'll tell you, the gasket maker was on pretty good. Now let's clean this up. We have that cleaned off, as you see. Nothing in the holes. Now we're going to clean this surface with acetone also. And what I did is I initialed and dated when I first took this engine apart, which was last year, as you see. Okay, now our dial pins, I like to get these super smooth so they're going easy because I don't like forcing anything. So we're going to we put these on a bolt. We're going to clean these real fast. I actually did that before. I just want to show you guys how I do it. Okay, dial pins, guys, one in each corner. These are the biggest holes in. They should go in halfway. That way they go in the rest of the way inside your head and the cylinder head here. And this is where your camshaft bolt adjusting bolt, well, it's not an adjuster. Your tensioner bolt goes in, and the other one is here. So let's see here. When we turn that around, that'll go up here and that'll go down there. Okay, now let's get our this side of the head smeared up with that stuff too. Now I already did my cams or my um, my valves and my valve springs. I put new valve seats on them. So they should be okay. I'll clean the before I put the cam in. I'll clean the top of that. I'm going to put the cam in tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, maybe even the next day. All right. Got our dowel pins in, our gaskets on. We put the gasket on here, and uh, let's see if we can drop her in place. Hold on a minute, guys. I'm going to zip tie these together.
give her a couple taps. That's why I like sanding down those dowel pins. That way they go in easy. I don't like forcing anything. It's good to have a flashlight and you check everything to make sure it's seated. See, in your, in your repair manual, they don't tell you to zip tie your timing chain to your adjuster. You know, some guys try holding it up, but it's better, you're better off just to zip tie the thing. You know, that way there, you know, what I should have did, I should have cleaned the top of my, um, the top of my cylinder head. I didn't clean it, but I'll, I'm going to have to clean that with a cotton. So now what we're going to do is we're going to temporarily put our lifter housings on and we're going to bolt it down and uh, that way there my gaskets will be smashed and they'll be sealed. Okay what I did guys is I made miniature rags because I'm going to stuff anywhere a bolt can fall in. Because if I drop a bolt inside here, I'm going to probably snap out and possibly throw this motorcycle in the garbage. So I'm not going to try to drop a bolt inside there. Because th this has basically been a project with me for about the last two years and uh, I'd like to wrap it up. Then, like with these here, it'll have an F on, it'll have an F on it, that's front. But we're putting these down temporarily so I can torque the head down. Now also, even with these, these have dowel pins on them too. Okay, let's see. Everything's dropping, guys. Everything's dropping. I did have this cleaned up. Let's see where you go in. Alright, let me pause you guys. Guys, just to be sure, I'm going to stop cotton in any opening. Because I do not want a bolt falling inside here. Because that happened to me before, and I, had, I was all done like this. bolt fell down inside the engine. I had to take the engine apart, split the engine open to go find the bolt. All right. Okay, guys, I was very careful. I didn't put the washers underneath these bolts up here because I just want this to be torqued down. Let me make sure I don't have any material underneath these things here.
Now don't forget, you have these two long ones. What we're going to do... And then you have this short one. And on the front of the engine down here, there's a little... There's a nut where this goes right into. What we're going to do is... Uh, We're going to get our torque pattern and we're going to torque these down just like the manual says. First, because I don't want to put all the pressure on these camshaft, on these um, push rod housings. Because if they crack, I have to probably find them, and I don't know if anyone's going to have them during this pandemic. Alright guys, let me get my torque sequence, and uh, we'll see how this is. Okay, our torque is, let's see... The engine mounting, well, the, the engine, we don't have the engine mounted yet. The crankcase bolts are 10, or excuse me, they're 7 to 10 foot pounds. Now, my torque wrench measures in inches, so you just times that by 12. Let's see, our cylinder head. For the Rebel, the bolts are 7 to 10, the nuts are 15 to 28. So these are 15 to 28 foot pounds, <coughs> and the, the bolts are, those three bolts are 7 to 10. So let me find my uh, my torque sequence. Okay, here's the torque sequence right here. Okay, that's that's this picture right here. Okay, naturally, that's one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So let's get our torque wrench out. So we're going to set it um, seven times, so since it matters in inch pounds, we're times in the foot pounds by 12, so we're going to make that at 84. And that's 80. That's 85 inch pounds. I'm, you know what, I may not even make it like this. It seems like it's going, it's too much for it. Because I do not want to strip these. Tell you the truth, I don't know about that. That seems like a lot. We're going to dial this back down to 70. Okay, we'll, we'll make it 65 inch pounds. Okay, that clicked. That clicked. And that clicked. <clears throat> I'm 
matter of fact, guys, I'll do these at 65 just for now. And you know, the way you do these is you do them a little at a time. Because you don't. these are aluminum, they'll crack real easy. You don't want to put all the pressure on all of them, so you torque them a little bit. Let me see, we got four or five. And this is number six up here. Number seven's down here. And number eight is this one. Where's number nine at? Number nine. 10, and 11 is the neighbor. Then we'll go again. We'll start off with number 4. Number 5 is down here. Number 6. All right, guys, these are all torqued down to 65 inch pounds. Let's take a look, see if our gasket maker squeezed out a little bit. Yeah, it does look like it squeezed out. Now, this also, the reason why I wanted to do this is the stuff on top of here fastens your cylinder jugs and your cylinder head down to the block. Now, once this is all done and assembled, we're going to hit this with another coat of paint. Because when I had to take this apart before, I cracked every corner of the fins, so that's why I had to grind these down. But it actually turned out pretty good. It looks pretty good. So, I think we're fine. I'll be surprised if this leaks the way I did the uh, the block and these it shouldn't leak so all right now the next next video what I'll do is I'll show you guys how you put the camshaft and camshaft sprocket in